So early, it is her birthday, and she wanna celebrate with her friends. Yes, see, I'm tired, and it's just a normal day. There's nothing special besides. I have books to read. I need to wake up early, go to work. Normal day, Deshola. It is your birthday. It's a special day. I wasn't even expecting you to be back this early. I mean, though, it's just a normal day. Nothing special. That's all. Here's your present. Happy birthday to you. I hope this is not a gym membership because you think I need to lose weight or anything like that. Of course not. You're perfect as you are. <sighs> Plane tickets for a vacation abroad. Oh my god, you guys are spoiling me too much! No, it is not a plane ticket. Read this very carefully. Uh, it's admission ticket to a real clinic. Here in town. What? I told you guys I'm fine. I'm not having those weird nightmares anymore. I'm over it. I think dwelling on this issue just makes things worse. What? Oh, Esola, you don't have to interpret going to the clinic as something that means you are broken. Huh? You can go to the clinic huh? to relax and unwind mentally. Really, Dad? Yes. To relax? Yes. With a bunch of other people who are probably dysfunctional or have crazy issues. See, I don't need to be around any basket cases right now. I just want to do my work and live my life. You cannot judge other people as dysfunctional basket cases. Because you don't want to be saying that way. Also, moving on with your work will still be cracks to your spirit that may later blow up later on. You need to eat the situation, my dear. Blow up? Yes. Seriously? You're just being so dramatic. I mean, I would have preferred plane tickets to Bali or the Caribbean. That would have been relaxing. Not a clinic. Oh, it's step at the time. Hmm? See? You can go on vacation some other time. Yeah. First, let's give you a therapeutic care. Yeah? A smart one. Mm? For someone that has endured a trauma, the one you've experienced. Mm? You see, the driver has been scheduled to take you to the clinic 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. So you start packing your things so that you can prepare early. Please. Yes. My dear, you will enjoy it. I know you will. I, I just hope. I just wish you guys could be less dramatic about this all. Say, tomorrow. Ah. Your dad was the best for you, my dear. Even funny. Like my parents practically forced me into this rehab wellness clinic as a birthday present. How ridiculous can that be? I wish I could. I don't think wellness places save alcohol. I think we're meant to talk about our feelings and experiences, I guess. I'm processing things instead of escaping from them.
You haven't been the same since we got here. Now, how do we get through this? Chinimushi, how can I make things better? I don't know, just think about it. Think about what? I really don't understand what happened that day. You froze at the situation. You were supposed to be able to handle things. Well, you, were, you were busy making all those elaborate references of how proud you were of your black belt and character and how handy it will come. And how you can be able to handle tough situations when all those skinny, dirty hoodlums approached us and demanded for our bags. What did you do? You froze. I was nervous, you were nervous, who wouldn't be? Huh? Nelson, there was no gun or knife in sight. And they could just be 16 years old and so skinny and no way to be, to, to, to stand you. And Nelson, I was. I was ready to give them the spanking of their lives. But you made me look so stupid. Telling them how my husband is a black belt in karate, he doesn't do uh, boxing, and we are not to be messed, messed with, with by hoodlums and, and, and all those things. And when I looked towards you, you just froze in time. Look. That situation was as much of a crazy and traumatic event for me as it was for you. Nelson, you lied. I don't even know the man I married. Nelson, I was supposed to spend my honeymoon with someone I fell in love with, not someone who lied to me, and those two thieves who took our luggages and kidnapped us in our own vehicle. And now we are here. It is better I don't go through this, this, this healing process with you, with someone who allowed this to happen to us? Look, I already told you. I'm sorry. Alright? I'm sorry. Please be reasonable and take it easy. Okay? One step at a time. Yeah? Go with me daily. One step at a time, and I promise you, everything will be fine. All right? Look, baby, just hold my hand, and let's practice taking this walk through life one step at a time, together. We could have been killed. Ta 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 ta. Yeah. Come in. Hi. Hi. Uh, so, uh, I came to introduce myself. My name is Muiwa Stevens. I am the manager of this clinic. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. Uh, the pleasure is mine. Um, I wanted to know, are you enjoying your stay so far? With the food, the environment? And would you like anything else? Mm, everything is fine so far. 
Thank you. Great, great, great. Can I get extra bottles of water? Of course. I will send someone to get it up to you right away. Oh, okay. Plus, do not forget the prayers in the morning and your programs for the day. Thank you. Have a lovely night again. Bye. Bye. to stay back and help my family run this clinic. Huh? Um, let's say for another few weeks, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to see you. We don't get on a plane and get here by the end of this week. You and I are over, and that is the problem. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess I just have to respect that. And, um, I understand how you feel, but still do whatever you have to do. Oh, oh, do whatever I have to do, so it's like that. What do you mean, so it's like that? You should know I can't just get on the plane and leave everything behind. Surely you should understand that. Uh, I don't understand it. Goodbye and good luck. Hey! Hey! That's interesting. You know, coincidentally, I was just going out to exercise. Oh. How about to do it together? Okay, I don't mind. All right. <laughs> How fast do you run? Faster than you. Really? Obviously. It's not that bad. The clinic. Uh, I'm actually liking my stay here. It's pleasant and fun. <laughs> what were you expecting? I thought it would be sad and bleak and full of bummed out people who just wanted to complain. <laughs> and I'll also be forced to complain day and night, like talk things out all night, all day. I know, I guess that will help, right? But I'll feel drained if I'm, if I, if I like, if I, if I'm like. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> like, we, we haven't gotten to the main deal yet. I know you're kidding. Uh, well, I am. The whole idea is to, you know, use an organic approach to things and not just um, a mechanized form of it. After all, we aim not to stress. Okay. So, tell me about your job. <laughs> oh, well, me becoming managing director of the clinic is um, funny. It's not what I expected, how it turned out. I mean, my dad had left it behind, you know, to go abroad and help his twin brother, you know, resurrect the construction company that had been running to the ground. Uh, me coming here, I thought I was going to, you know, find a lot of aggression, people complaining, you know, a hostile environment and all that. But it has turned out differently. It's a bit calm, safe, peaceful. And sometimes exciting. Like, I would categorize meeting you as exciting. Not so fast. I mean, you just... You've known me for like five minutes. Well, it's just that you know what I would expect to, you know, find in the clinic. Oh, really? So do people have special markings on their face or their clothing to show that they've been through this kind of problem or that? No, maybe not. Definitely not. So try not to make me feel like some sort of basket case. I was in the wrong place at the wrong time and I endured something that could have happened to anyone. Do you want to talk about it? No, I don't think so. No. Alright, okay. You know what? Um, I'll race you home. It's not even that bad. Huh? Baby, 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 baby. Just stop it. Why are you doing this? What? Hey. Don't touch me. Did you get it? Did you get it? This, this is all made up. It's all in your head. It's not even that bad. Really? Baby? Baby? Really? Okay, so 
someone tell us. Right? Can someone tell this man that I don't know who he is? Are you guys in the middle of a quarrel or something? Can you imagine that since she goes in the middle? No, let's just go. Let's go outside. I'm sorry he lied to you. But all this will just make you laugh in 50 years to come with your grandchildren. I just don't know. But it's supposed to be the beginning of a great chapter. It's already uh, just like a lie. I don't know. I would have known that he couldn't handle a troublesome location. I would have ventured in a less troublesome honeymoon well it's all going to be fine just relax and trust god ah peace yes yeah, so obviously it is only god i can trust right now and not anything that this man says to me relax it's not really his fault or yours or anyone else's other than those troublemakers Babes, I don't think I can move forward with this. I just want to go home. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Just take it one day at a time. <laughs> what if it wasn't just us? What if we, we, we were with our children? And this thing happened to us. I know, I know. Just thank God it's over and hopefully something like this never happens again. It's okay. It's okay. Don't cry. You know, seeing both of you like that was in uh, pretty sad. Tell me what happened. It's a long story, man. Like, Stupid mistake on my part simply got out of control. I'm listening. <sighs> so, I told her I was a karate black belt holder on our first or second date or something like that. You know, I thought she would forget such an unimportant detail. <laughs> you know the mistake women don't forget details. I know, right? But she didn't. And, and she would get excited that I could handle dangerous situations, and I didn't correct her. Mm. That's a mistake on your part. Apparently. So, finally last month, we were on our honeymoon, you know, and we just wandered off and ran into some crazy situation. Yeah, let me guess, and you needed to show off your skills as a black belter. Exactly, something like that. So. Unfortunately, that evening, I had reassured her not to worry because my fighting skills and instincts are tip top, you know? And when those teenagers showed up all of a sudden, she saw me checking out and act scared. Mm. And she felt betrayed. Mm. They, they took our bags, our money. They even took us hostage in our own vehicle. They drove our SUV into the forest with us in it. I mean, we barely got out. It was very terrible, man. That's, that's terrible, and um, okay, now I can see why things are the way they are, but don't worry. Things will get better. You'll be fine. I hope so, man. I, I hope so. Don't worry. I hope so. Hey, uh hey, -huh. the last time we spoke, you mentioned about a guy at your clinic. What was his name again? His name is Muiwa. Muiwa. Hmm. So when are we meeting him? Mm, not yet. We don't have that plan. But eventually, shall. Okay. So how is clinic? Are the doctors helping you? Sis, I don't need doctors. I'm fine. You're so dramatic. <sighs> I am glad you're enjoying your time there. Yeah, it's fine. It's good. I mean... 
good so far. I he he I heard Shasta B C is at a clinic. Yeah, so he is. How is Dad? Uh, Daddy is doing fine. You know, he's always happy when you are doing so well. We thank God. I miss you guys. We miss you too. <laughs> okay. Everything is okay on this side. I need you to take a seat and listen to me carefully. Okay, um, is everything okay? Yes, I just need to tell you about a few things. You remember when the clinic was seeking some financial assistance some seven, six years ago? I remember, yes, but... Vaguely. Do you remember that I sought my cousin for luck as assistance during this time? I'm not sure, but is there a problem? Well, what we did back then was um, we conveyed 57% of the shares to of the clinic to her. She ended up with 57% uh, ownership of the clinic, and I was supposed to buy out the shares over the next several years. Okay, that's something you've done, of course. Well, uh, it hasn't exactly worked out as planned, and that's what I'm trying to tell you. It's become a real issue because some of the buyers interested in the clinic have approached her now, and they are considering conveying our interest to them. What? To outsiders? Surely there must be something that can stop her from doing that. Well, our agreement did not specify those terms. We just agreed assuming things would work out with me being ready to get back all the shares. So, but... What are you going to do? What, what are we going to do? Not much. I think we can encourage her to convey the shares to us if we can get the funds to buy them back from her. Problem is that we don't have much time. We also need to take care of this issue within a few weeks or she is practically free to take over with about 60% of the ownership. Surely someone can talk to her, right? Talking will not solve this. The funds are the only thing that would handle this as a solution. There's enough to handle at the clinic right now. I do not need this additional wahala. She's already running around making plans for how to convert the building into a high-end saloon and spa. What? No way! Yes. Things are a bit crazy right now. Let's go out, come on. My father has gotten this clinic into some financial mess. He conveyed some shares to his cousin, my aunt. Some years back, and I'm just finding out. And the thing is, it's... I race it to the gate and whoever wins gets to take over their matter. Do you? You know that's a silly suggestion, right? At a serious time like this. Wait, come on. There's a lot of serious things to deal with every day. Why not just have fun while we're at it? Ready, set, I'll say go when, I, when you start moving. No, ma'am. Not at this time. Do you want my business attorney perspective on this matter with your dad's cousin? If I race you down the street, you will lose. There's no more reason why you should get up and do it then. Hurry up and beat me so I have to bend to your will. Anything and everything you want. Doesn't that sound good? Ready, set, 
Go. Yeah, that's cheesy. You, you need to slow down, okay? Slow down. Mm. Mm. See, Simon wasn't able to get enough fuel for the rest of the weekend. Though. I just hope there is no power outage or storm or anything like that. Otherwise, we will sleep in the dark for two nights. Too. Why now? We cannot expect the clients to stay in the dark for two nights. Eh? Yes. These people are paying customers now. Yeah, I know. I know it's not a good thing for them to spend two nights in the dark. But just in case, I hope you have candles and flashlights too. Did I just hear you say candles and flashlights? How are we going to be having this problem now? These people are not paying for them to sit down together, look themselves in the eyeball, and tell each other bedtime stories. Eh? This is not how you advertise this claim to these people, Lou. Eh, why not? It's, there's nothing bad in them telling themselves scary stories about the experience they had with each other. Can you listen to yourself? Eh? Don't even allow me what you see to hear this thing I are saying. They can even practice running away from kidnappers with limited visibility. Eh? It's not a bad exercise. Mm -hmm. I agree. Care for yourself. Very, very good. Get off it! How did you even think of that? Uh, it's, a, it's a good idea now. It's a good idea. Eh, hey, it's a good idea, Abi. I will see you off to Ogamuyiwa's office so that you can tell him this no. good idea. No, 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 no. Don't, don't worry, don't worry. Let's forget it. Ogamuyiwa is not so understanding oh, of no, experimental no, no. You don't solutions. Need to worry yourself about that. I will make the story more beautiful. Eh? Hey, let's go. No, uh, uh, forget about it. Forget. Don't worry. You and Simon better go and look for a way to get fuel before Mr. Muiwa sends you back to your, your, your village. This company must be run properly. for me, sir. Yes, I did. You need to have a talk. Okay. Sir. Um, so, I, I don't need to remind you that at this clinic you need to conduct yourself professionally, right? And that regardless of the status of any client, whether wealthy or them being a celebrity, um, they do not require any preferential treatment. Because um, it has come to me that for, what now, two weeks, you've been leaving your desk for hours, you know, running after Shatter BC, running errands for him and, you know, just doing things for him. You are not his personal assistant. You were hired by this clinic to perform a certain duty. Now, if you do not want to do that anymore, it's fine, you let us know and we hire someone else. Who said I was leaving my desk? Oh, this gets man and always exaggerating. Sir, I only went to help Shasta BC get some cold medications because he was sick. Is that too much? Aren't we supposed to show our clients ultimate hospitality? That is all I was trying to do. I would think that Oga, you of all people would be proud of my efforts to keep our clients happy and not critical. This accusation is not fair to me, Oga. I was only trying to help. I don't know why the others will not help him get the medication. But I honestly think that you should be happy that I went out of my way to do so when others wouldn't. Hmm. So tell me, did you accept any form of um, gift from him? Sir, if your client likes me and decides to shower me with gifts, that should not be a problem now. Should it just creates some form of um, conflict of interest and I do not like it. Oh. I thought we were supposed to make them happy. Whether it's gold or emerald, anything, it doesn't matter. Yeah, he was just trying to appreciate the gesture. Rene, be careful. Sir, I am doing all this to help this clinic. Don't mind the jealous gates, man. Everything will be great, sir. I'll be all. 
Thank you, sir. How are you doing? I'm good. Uh, that reminds me, um, I must apologize for the power outage last night. Because we'll be doing a 20% refund to everyone as a result. No. No, you don't have to do that. Oh no, we absolutely have to. I mean, it wasn't fair you know, having you people in the dark like that. It's not your fault. I'm sure you and your staff tried your best to get fuel for that generator. Trust me, you don't know the half of it. We were at the filling station for what, over four hours. And just when she was about getting to the turn, it was announced that the, the station is out of petrol. Coincidentally, that happened twice. Yes. Even at the next station they went to. <laughs> wow. So you can imagine. Yesterday was really horrible. What about the solar panel on the rooftop? Isn't there meant to be enough electricity stored to help us out? Well, if we had some sun. I mean, it's been raining constantly for what now? Four days? We will not have the opportunity to capture the sunlight properly. That's unfortunate. Yes, it is. It's tough. So, how are you coping? I mean, I'm good. Baby girl, did you notice that Shasta BC is here? Of course. Who hasn't noticed? Well, I heard him singing in the hallway. He sounds just like his record. And he is good. Not auto to me. Good. He is. Yes, I've heard. He's very good. Girl, but I thought you're single. Why are you dressed like this? Let's go to your room and get you a good coat and a nice makeup. <laughs> I I don't know if I'm single. I, I think it's complicated. What's complicated? Uh -uh. Uh -uh. What is complicated? Tell me now. What's that? What's, what's wrong? Talk to me. Uh -uh. <laughs> Talk to me now. Yeah, yeah, tell, tell me. I'm listening. So, Moiwa wants me to start thinking about us together. Oh my god, that's great. I should have noticed something was going on between the two of you. <laughs> I just, he's not the kind of person I expected to meet here. Of course. You're in real clinic, of course. He's so thoughtful. Mm. Generous, oh. kind. He's so insightful on so many levels. Mm -hmm. That's fabulous, my love. Going back to Canada would be hard with him on my mind. Baby girl, you know what? That's cool. Just stay here with him. It's not that simple. Then make it simple. Okay, I'll try. Baby girl, I'm so happy for the two of you. Look Thank at you. you. Look at you. Oh, you're <laughs> blushing. Oh, look at you. Fine girl. I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy. Yes, my now. Smile. Oh, it's really good to you know, be alone with you. Without the other residents around. Because I've been meaning to ask you some questions. Oh, really? Yes, really. I mean, I've been meaning to, you know, sneak you away. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, here you have me. Um, since you got here, I. I know you've been, you know, you've thought about us. I would like to know your thoughts. Well, 
I have not been thinking about us. I didn't know I was meant to be doing so. Okay. Okay. Um, forgive me. Um, I would like you to take the night. Think about us seriously. Think about us um, having a, a future in life together. Um, I was hoping on going back to Canada to complete my master's and get funding for my urban farm. You know, that's funny. Yeah, it is. I mean, you're leaving all the way to Canada to become a farmer. What happened back home? Did you don't have enough farms in, in, in your home state? Food sustainability and farming is a serious matter everywhere in the world, not just Africa. Okay, true. You're very correct. So what about you? What are you going to be doing in the next few years? I honestly don't know. I mean, you, you disrupted my plotting process. All I want to do right now is to get to know you and to plan with you. <laughs> really? Oh my goodness. <laughs> So tell me how. I don't know. Maybe we can take it one day at a time. All right. Now I 